Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Today, we are here at our lentil field, and we are going to go ahead and uh, get rolling and uh, get to doing some combining. So we're going to do this field ourselves just because uh, oops. Uh, from what I've seen and what I am seeing lentils are not really that high of a yielding crop plus uh, it's not that big of a field so it's not that big of a deal This is our last field to get combined until uh, next month when our flax and canola is ready. Uh, when we get to our flax harvest, uh, we are going to drop the straw and we are going to bale it and sell the uh, flax bales. Um, It'll be a good way to make a little bit of extra money. So we are definitely going to take advantage of that. Our uh, grain has barely even come up. <coughs> they aren't the highest of yielding, but they definitely do pay pretty well. So, there is that. Like I've mentioned before, we are going to do some other crops next season. Um... We're going to see kind of what what we can get uh, in terms of land after we have sold off um, most of our crops. Oops. Hitting buttons here. Uh, most of our crops, some of our crops we can't really sell until later in the year. Uh, if you guys remember from the previous video. So our canola will be able to sell in February and our flax will be sold in January but peas and lentils are not till oops I was not quite quick enough um, the peas and lentils won't be until June but uh, once we get our flax bales sold and uh, we get our um, canola and flax sold. We should be sitting pretty good to where we can uh, get a bit more land. Then we'll be able to create our uh, crop plan or work plan for next season. We're probably going to get this in like maybe two hoppers. We'll see if we even fill it once.
I definitely like uh, this combine setup. The uh, combine with this header seems to be a pretty good fit, actually. So. see our uh, fill level slowly going up there. Definitely just destroying that left side of that header. Going through all this brush. We're slowly filling, slowly. These lentils are definitely something that if uh, we want to make some decent money off of them, we got to put in a lot of them. Definitely can't be uh, any small little bit of it like this. But in the future, we might plant more. We'll see. Um, like I mentioned before, just kind of wanted to test it out, play around with it a little bit since it's a uh, newer crop. Then we'll get turned around and we'll do one more pass around this edge. And then we'll uh, go back to doing our up and down rows. This side is definitely difficult to see. Definitely tell we've been in some dusty crops. This combine's pretty dirty back there by that uh, fan. Yeah, that pillar is in a terrible spot to try and see. Definitely makes it difficult to uh, see around it.
So I did see today, um, it is Monday today, uh, Julian F. Modding released his versatile 935 tractor. Um, that's definitely something I would love to get in on this save game, uh, especially beans the fact that they are made in Canada. Um, so I think that would be very fitting. And with us, uh, you know, with looking at going to that uh, older air seeder setup, that tractor would definitely be extremely fitting on that setup. So definitely would like to uh, look at getting that. And I believe it would probably be able to replace our 9380, which would be definitely be a nice thing as well I'm not a huge fan of that tractor We'll combine this little section here on this northern edge. all of that in one pass we will so we're gonna cut out of it here and flip around and pick up this little piece that's left behind here See if we can get this whole corner in one go. Not sure if it's going to quite work out. It's going to be pretty close. Not quite all of it. With these lentils, we want every little bit of it that we can get. We definitely don't want to leave any. <laughs> How full are we? We're just about halfway full. We're getting somewhere. I'll work on this piece up here first. Let's actually bring this back up for a second here. Our 
cruise control down so when we're turning it's not trying to go mock Jesus. I'm definitely ready for uh, this view to come back in real life. Ready for, ready for spring. Ready to be back in the fields. Tired of moving snow. Just had to go and do that more today. Definitely gets old. Get all of it? Not quite. Well, darn. So we are definitely going to fit all of this in one grain tank, which is rather unfortunate, but. It is what it is. Got to do. Got to do what you do. Oh, wow! If I can English, got to do what you got to do. Sometimes, live and learn. Now we know for future, if we want to make a profit uh, off of lentils, and have it to uh, where it's actually worth combining and not just a waste of a bin then uh, we know put in a lot more yeah I don't even think we're gonna really cover the window even Almost missed it there. <laughs> it was pretty close. going on here apparently I was not straight enough when I locked on the line there One more little bit, and then we're done. And then we can uh, actually take this header and uh, get it put away. We 
because we are done with our uh, grain head now. Fold it up. I'm going to throw the uh, hazards on since we're coming out on the road. See if we can fit through here. And we can. We had 1,154 bushels of peas. We do have anhydrous already purchased. So flax straw sells the best in January. But still, it's $70 a ton there, so... That's still not all too bad of a price. Get our header lined up a little bit better here. Disconnect our PTO. Perfect. And we can go ahead and fold this guy up. And we're going to run the combine back. And we might give this thing a bath before we uh, move forward here. Bring our cruise control back up. And we might as well fill fuel while we're at it. Well, we might be able to make it through canola harvest, actually. Probably wouldn't hurt just to fill it anyways while we're messing around with it here. Boy, the edge of this road is rough. We've got one car behind us here. It would definitely be nice if the uh, camera was down just a little bit in this combine. Sits just a little too high. Now, what we could do as well, so let's go to crops here. So, what do we got? So, three is wheat and two is oats. We could buy those fields now. And harvest them. But. 
To me, it, that kind of feels like cheating a little bit. Plus, if we were to do that, we would not get all that great of a yield anyways to really make it worthwhile. Uh, because the pH and nitrogen levels are going to be absolutely shot. Get this guy fueled up, and then we're going to go ahead and wash it right away and get our pickup header hooked on. She's definitely dirty. And then when we uh, go to take our, actually we might as well wait to put our pickup head on because we got to take that uh, grain head off the trailer. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to grab our truck so we can get this emptied. A hundred and fifty-nine bushels is all that we got. It's definitely a waste of a bin, but it is what it is at the moment. It was just an experiment. Ooh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Well, apparently the brakes suck in this truck. So we're going to have to add that to the list of uh, repairs needed this at the end of harvest. We just got to remember to start slowing down a little bit sooner. And we are set to the front hopper. All right, we'll get this little bit of uh, lentils unloaded. Perfect. Let's get this truck out of our way. And we're just going to back this guy up here by the fuel tank for now. And shut him off. And then we're going to go ahead and get this guy moved out of the way as well. Figure out where we got where we're going to put it here for the time being. Cuz we aren't going to need him for a little bit. Same with our auger and tractor here. So we're 
going to just back this guy over here for right now because we won't need this for a little while either so oh 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 whoa too far here come on now all right that'll work now we need to grab our pickup See if we can manage to turn this thing around right here. I think we're going to have to end up finding a different header trailer. Yeah, and now we're stuck in the ground here. Hmm. Not sure why that's happening either. Not sure if it's this trailer or what, but uh, we are definitely going to get rid of this trailer. I don't like the way that it handles, so we're just going to go with one of the in-game header trailers, but we won't need to worry about it right now. We aren't going to need a header trailer anymore this year, so we are not going to worry about it right now. We will go ahead and just sell this one right away once we uh, get back here and get it unloaded. Yeah, the it definitely does not handle like it should. So we're going to pull this right up here. We're going to unhook this trailer, and then we'll grab our combine. We're going to get that header off there. And uh, we're going to get it washed up and uh, get the repairs done to it. Perfect. Now let's get this fixed up. So we got 38 to repair and 3,183 to repaint. Now where is our semi? Can't quite see out of those mirrors like I would like to. So we're going to get this header dropped. We're going to get hooked on to our pickup header. Okay, oh, and that kind of kicked it forward. Okay, let's get back here and get our pickup head hooked up. Get our PTO attached here if I can get in there. There we go. And now we 
got to back all the way on out of here. I can't quite see well enough to do it very well. All right, and then we're gonna actually we're gonna hook this back up, and we'll go like this. Sell, yes. So we sold it for two thousand five hundred and forty-seven dollars. This guy, we're gonna just go ahead and park right up here at the house and uh, shut him off. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for today, and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into canola harvest next in tomorrow's video. I will go ahead and fast forward time, get us ready to start rolling on this canola, and uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.